Hello everybody, my name is Moritz, I'm the producer and part-time Vampire Lord of our upcoming strategy game, Immortal Realms Vampire Wars. Today is a very special day for us, because we just released the Steam Beta of Immortal Realms, now available on Steam and in the Calypso store. Immortal Realms is a turn-based strategy game centered around the player taking control of one of three vampire clans and fighting the other factions in a world inspired by classical vampire lore and mythologies. The beta of Immortal Realms is available for everybody that has pre-ordered the game and it will run until the release of the main game. It contains the tutorial, the first two campaign missions, two sandbox maps and four skirmish maps. During the tutorial, you will learn about the basics of Immortal Realms, as well as some game-specific mechanics that you might not be used to from other strategy games yet. The first two campaign missions available to the players are centered on the first of our vampire clans, the mighty Dracul clan. Their king, Blood Dracul, rules with his queen, Cecilia Dracul, over a number of vampire dukes who are in charge of maintaining the fragile balance between vampires and human half-bloods in the kingdom. The former offering protection to the latter in exchange for blood. This balance is disturbed when an outside force invades the kingdom. In the sandbox mode you can play either the Dracul or the monstrous Nosfernus clan. In Moterra, the ancient kingdom of the Nosfernus, or in Korea, a province of the human empire. Prevail on a huge map against 16 clans and reign supreme. In our skirmish mode, you can custom select your armies in order to fight some quick battles. Here you can even try some tier 3 units, which are still unavailable in the campaign and in the sandbox mode. Now that you learned what we are offering you in the beta, let me tell you about our second faction, the Nosfernus led by Ohamu, the Ancient One. The Nosfernus are monstrous vampire remnants of an ancient, degenerated clan that once ruled over a powerful kingdom in Moterra. After certain events that I don't want to spoil yet, this kingdom ceased to exist. The Nosfernus feed a roster of mostly undead related units like skeletons, ghouls and necromancers. And they come with their own school of magic, the aspect of undead. Apart from having their own unit roster, they also use a different resource management than the Dracul clan. The Dracul earn blood from villages passively each turn, but also need to pay an upkeep for their units. The Nosfernus cannot earn blood passively from villages. Instead, they need to actively feast on villagers to gain blood, stripping whole regions of any living population in the process. To compensate for this, the undead units of the Nosfernus do not require upkeep. Only the recruitment fee applies to them. This makes the Nosfernus especially deadly if they have enough time to build up their armies and swarm their enemies. It is very important for us to hear your opinion of the game and to help us find out which areas still need improvements. There are two ways for you to let us know what you think about Immortal Realms Vampire Wars. If you find any problem in the game, you can hit F1 to open up the bug report form. Please explain which bug you experience and how we can reproduce it. It will go into our bug report database and if you manage to reproduce it because of your report, we can fix it. If you have any idea about the game or would like to give us feedback, please hit F2 to open up the Immortal Ram Steam forum. My colleagues and I are reading everything that is written there and if we find many people asking for a specific adjustment, chances are high that we will address it at some point. The beta of Immortal Realms Vampire Wars is now available on Steam and in the Calypso store. We hope you enjoy playing our game and you can satisfy your desire for blood.